In 1994, the Environmental Protection Agency developed a phased regulatory plan to assure that medium and heavy-duty trucks run cleaner by the year 2010. As the final phase of the industry's emissions control challenge approaches, we're facing strict and well-defined engine regulations and new ways to meet them. So the question becomes, what's the best technology for the cleanest engine exhaust with the best bottom line advantages for you? EPA 2010 standards will require that nitrogen oxides, or NOx levels, for new medium and heavy duty trucks are reduced to almost zero. It's a further reduction of over 90% from pre-2004 levels. So what exactly is NOx, and what's the best way to get rid of it? Well, NOx, or oxides of nitrogen, is an exhaust element that contributes to smog. It's an environmental pollutant that's a byproduct of the high temperature diesel combustion process. Today, there are two known approaches that are effective in meeting 2010 NOx emission standards, in-cylinder and SCR. In the first approach, known as in-cylinder exhaust gas recirculation, or EGR, exhaust gas is cooled and recycled back through the engine. Doing so reduces the amount of oxygen available for combustion, which thereby reduces the combustion temperature and lowers NOx production. However, the lower temperature diesel combustion is less efficient, so it creates more particulate matter and burns more fuel. The second approach, which is backed by leading engine and truck manufacturers across the United States, Asia and Europe, utilizes a balance or a combination of EGR, exhaust gas recirculation, and SCR, selective catalytic reduction technology, to meet these 2010 standards. SCR is a process that treats emissions downstream from the engine and combustion process to reduce NOx levels in the exhaust. Diesel exhaust fluid, or DEF, is injected into the exhaust stream during the SCR process. In the presence of a catalyst, the fluid turns into ammonia and carbon dioxide, which reacts with the NOx to become nitrogen and water vapor. SCR permits the engine to operate at a higher and more optimal combustion temperature to provide more power and better fuel efficiency with less soot generation. The proven method of integrating EGR and SCR technologies combines the best of each to effectively and efficiently reduce NOx emissions and meet or exceed 2010 EPA mandates. Now, there are many questions out there and even some misconceptions surrounding these technologies, including costs, vehicle weight, maintenance considerations, DEF availability and consumption, and more. To review these approaches, their pros and their cons, we've gathered a few of the best and brightest minds our industry has to offer. Welcome to the truth about SCR. I'm Peter Carey. Today, we're here to discuss the Selective Catalytic Reduction, or SCR, process and address a few of the questions you may have about this technology and what it may mean to you. I'm joined by four experts on this topic. First, I'd like to introduce Dave Seiler. Dave is the Director of Marketing for Detroit Diesel. Next. I'd like to introduce Ginger Lorette with Cummins, Inc. Also on our panel today, we're pleased to have Dave Uschwald, Director of Diesel Exhaust Fluid Infrastructure for Daimler Trucks North America. And last but certainly not least, Steve Morelli, the EPA 2010 Sales and Marketing Manager for Daimler Trucks North America. Welcome, everyone. Thank, Thank you, Peter. Let's dive right in here. There seem to be a lot of misconceptions out there in the marketplace concerning these uh, 2010 EPA mandates. I mean, let's set the, the record straight here. Let's give them the truth about SCR. First off, Dave Seiler, where are these misconceptions coming from? Well, Peter, there certainly are misconceptions out there, and uh, we feel that really they're from a lack of understanding about SCR. And uh, Detroit Diesel really looks forward to setting the record straight about SCR. Our uh, 2010 SCR solution will be called BlueTech, and our BlueTech customers will clearly be able to rely on better fuel economy, a system that's simple and reliable to operate, and best of all, uh, we'll ha we have great experience with BlueTech. We have over 200,000 units uh, running in Europe today uh, that are called Daimler BlueTech, 
And so we feel that uh, all the way back to 2005, we felt that the uh, technology was right for our customers and we were, were on schedule to deliver it in 2010. So we've got proof that it's working there. Steve, on your end, where do you think these misunderstandings are coming from? Well, that's simple. In a nutshell, I think there's a lot of information being offered on the internet, in the press, et cetera, and a lot of it just is frankly not accurate. And that's why I'm really excited about our getting here today, because we're going to be able to set the record straight. We're going to be able to talk about what's really going on.